Well, that was a goddamn fiasco. You go in with the intel you have, not the intel you want. We paid the fucking piper down there. You think this is Bell's fault? I don't know whose fault it is. I just know that Perseus doesn't have a single fucking nuke. He's got dozens. Millions of people are gonna die, and the United States will take the blame. You need to find out where he's planning to broadcast the activation signal. How are we gonna pull that out of our ass? Bell knows where it is. Bell? This goddamn science project was a failure! Don't count Adler out yet. The man has a deep bag of tricks. Come on. A little further. Sims, get the gurney. Looks like you were one of the lucky ones out there. Well, we're not gonna lose these two for nothing. Going for broke here, Bell. Putting all our chips on the table. You need to stay on point for this. Sharp. Focused. Sims, get the dosages ready. All of them. Adler, stop wasting our valuable time. He's of no use to us anymore. Stay alert, Bell. You're the key to stop the persons. No more half-assing it. We're doing an intracerebral injection. Damn. Through the eye socket. You sure about this, Doc? Listen to me. I need you to remember. Think back to our time in Vietnam one more time. We need to finish what we started. We had a job to do. Think, Bell. Perseus. Do you remember coming face to face with Perseus in Vietnam? EKG is spiking. Shit. Heart rate's off the charts. I need you to relax and focus, Bell. Your helicopter crashed. You made your way through the jungle, alone. You found a bunker. Do you remember the bunker, Bell? We need to know what's inside that bunker. Do not trust Adler. Adler is lying to you. Do not trust him. Do not listen to Adler. He is lying to you. He is lying to you. Do not trust Adler.
During a mission to investigate reports of a Soviet bunker, your chopper was hit by ground fire. According to your debrief, you woke up in the middle of a firefight. The crash survivors were defending against a VC attack. You ran forward and picked up an M16. Then you realized you were the sole survivor. You set off to locate the bunker. The path split near a ruin, so you took the right fork, not the trail to the left. The zip line nearby was the best way back. We wanted to get to that bunker as soon as possible. You equipped your shotgun and had a bow ready. That's when you discovered VC soldiers meeting with Soviet agents.
Yes, Bell. That was the door into the Soviet bunker. Yes, good, the bunker. Now tell me about Perseus. Ah, we almost had it. Let's run six. Ready. Bell, we've got a job to do. According to your debrief, you woke up and the rest of your crew was missing. The VC were on the ground searching for survivors. You readied your bow to take them out silently. You never mentioned the house in your debrief. Time to move along.
The path split near a ruin, so you took the well-traveled trail on your left, not toward the waterfall on the right. Mentioned crossing a bridge near a village. The clock was somewhere on the other side. At the fork, you followed the road right toward the sound of gunfire. Seeing a firefight, you readied your M16. He stirred up a hornet's nest. He chopped us a place now. Roger that. Chopper inbound. bunker entrance you described in the report. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe our dosage was too high. Stop, Bell. Fuck, fuck! Hand me the fallback scenario manual. Here. Bell, we've got a job to do. According to your debrief, you woke up in the middle of a fire. Crash survivors were defending against a VC attack. You readied a grenade launcher and charged ahead.
grenade launcher and charge the head. Path split near a ruin, so you took the well-traveled trail on your left, not toward the waterfall on the right. at the bunker across the bridge. You went left at the fork, not right. Allies were pinned down on a ridge. You readied your sniper rifle to assist.
I don't care if the door was fucking stuck. Open it. Sims, give Bell another injection. Do it, now! Bell's heart rate is already at a dangerous... This is some fucked up shit. Someone help me hold Bell down! doing in the lab. Bell, forget about the damn lab. I need to know about the bunker. Comrades, the United States and its allies slowly consume that which survive another round. I have no idea. Do it. We're not leaving empty-handed. Script 17. Ready. Bell, we've got a job to do. We've been over this already. Skip ahead to the next part. The bunker door was right there at the ruins, Bell. You went in. Bell, go into the bunker, now. States and its allies slowly consume that which is dear to us. Our leaders continue to weaken under this threat. It is the moral duty of Perseus to act when they will not. Soon we will possess an American nuclear bomb. 
the key to unlocking their entire green light arsenal. Once we control the green light arsenal, we will detonate them all from the safety of Solovetsky. Erasing their mind is a difficult and painful process. That's a small price to pay. The CIA's mind control program has had a great deal of success with implanted memories. You want me to tell them about my time in Vietnam? Lastly, you'll need a command phrase to trigger the implanted memories. We have a job to do. We have a job. We have a job. You had to reach the Soviet bunker. It appears the subject's programming is beginning to take hold. We've got a job to do. We've known each other for years. Fought together, bled together, been through the hell of Vietnam together. We've got a job to do. And now the training's complete. We just need to give the subject a name. Bell. coming too. Bell, no more fucking around. What did Perseus say? Where is he? What you're going through now is nothing compared to what you'll experience if you don't start cooperating. We gave you a second chance when you were shit out of luck. Now, we just want some assistance in return. You worked for Perseus, Bell. I know it's hard to believe, but Arash Kadavar 86 to you at that airfield in Turkey. When the plane leaves trap zone, he's stopping in Dugo. This you know. Here's what you don't know. Perseus won't be there. None of these hired guns are going to leave Duba alive. We'll dump their bodies in the forest. Then we will move the weapons to Volkov in Berlin. From there, we fly to Solovetsky. But I have other plans for you. Perseus thinks too highly of you. I don't want the competition. <laughs> We were there. We found you after everything went down. The CIA reinvented you, Bell. We needed to give you a new identity to replace the old. Sims and I both wanted you to be CIA. You didn't resist it as much as we thought you might. And we were able to utilize your language and cryptography skills as an added bonus. The bigger challenge was your memory. You were a guinea pig for the CIA's MK Ultra program. They used me and Adler's missions in Vietnam to create new memories. Nothing brings people together like wartime. Instant family. Brothers in arms. T-34 
interrogation didn't work with you, but thanks to MK Ultra's research, we had a backup plan. If you believed you were someone else, we could lead you to a place where you'd give everything up. Enough to get us where we are today, but we're not finished yet. We have a job to do. Now, we've got a job to do. We've got a job to do. We've got a job to do. The trigger phrase kept you in line, but it didn't get us everything we needed. Your innermost secrets were always locked behind a door. Bell, I realize you probably hate us right now, what we've done to you. I just need you to fully understand the stakes here. What you do right now is not about me, it's not about you, it's about millions of other fucking people. It's about stopping someone who, in the end, has no true allegiance to anyone other than himself. So tell me, where is Perseus? Once we control the Green Lighthouse, we will detonate them all for the safety of Solvets. This is your chance to define who you really are, Mel. Where is Perseus? Safety of Solovetsky. 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 Sims, get Washington on the line. Everyone else, gear up. We're leaving now. You made the right choice, Bell. Come on. You're still one of us. Perseus. The CIA's analysts consider him to be the single largest threat to the free world. You've been given an important task. Protecting our very way of life from a great evil. The United States and its allies slowly consume that which is dear to us. We are hours away from Perseus detonating nuclear bombs in every major European city. We'll do whatever it takes. Some of us have crossed the line to make sure the line's still there in the morning. No one's gonna brand us heroes or villains. They don't know us. As for me, I've been chasing this ghost for 13 years. That ends now.
We've cleared the AA guns. We need to launch these bombers. We got one AA clear. You know that's not good enough. I can't risk an early strike. We only got one shot at this. You don't think I know that? Just be ready to launch when I tell you, Hudson. Contact! They did it, Mr. President. They stopped the nukes. Thank God. And the CIA. Did they get Perseus? No, sir. His whereabouts are unknown. And a Russian response? Nothing yet. We're seeing signs of confusion. It's possible this was all a rogue operation. Perseus may not have been following orders from Moscow. Well, I'll be damned. Maybe we have something in common after all. Take my hand, Bell. We did it. This is a message to Perseus and those that'll follow him. We don't just sit back and hope for the best. We'll make the best happen. This is how wars are won, Bell.
Do you have an update on Kasim Javadi? Yeah. With both he and Arash Kadavar dead, their terrorist network collapsed as surviving members fought for control. With no clear leadership in place, it appears the Soviets have decided to cut ties and clean up the mess. Approximately 72 hours ago, the militant's primary encampment was burned to the ground. Nothing but ashes. Apparently, the few survivors that escaped have scattered and gone into hiding. What about Anton Volkov? Volkov has become a prime source of information since his capture. After interrogating him, MI6 quickly established a series of listening posts in East Berlin. They've already intercepted messages from the KGB to assets throughout the city. We're poking holes in the Iron Curtain. How did the cleanup in Havana go? We were able to recover the remains of agents Azale and Park from the compound in Cuba. Their caskets are in transit to Tel Aviv and London, respectively. President Reagan personally reached out to their families. We spoke in MI6. They're understandably displeased. We owe them one. What about the rest of the team? They got off Solovetsky before the Soviets could send in forces to investigate. We'll take some time to heal up, then it's back to work. We may have stopped Perseus, but his rats are still nesting all around us, thanks to the help of one of our own. True. We failed to hunt down Robert Aldrich and his domestic network of spies. We may have to go to more extreme measures, like broad domestic surveillance. Which, of course, we're not authorized to do. Not yet. What about Europe? We may have saved it from getting blown to Kingdom Come, but it's still stacked with Perseus's agents. There's more we could have done there if we'd had the time. And Bell. Arctic air. There's the head, doesn't it? Bell, you made two extraordinary sacrifices to stop Perseus. One was without your knowledge. The other, you made that decision of your own accord. I just want you to know that this little thing that's happened with you and me, it was always for the greater good. You're a goddamn hero, you know that, kid. Heroes have to make sacrifices. That's why when I ask you for one more, I hope you understand. It was never personal. 